Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to EU4. Things are going good ish. Good ish. <laughs> um, we've done a really good job of sort of decimating, or taking control of, of North Africa. Eventually, we'll have to go against uh, the Moroccans here, although it might be wise to get them into an alliance first. But. Like, it might be wise to get into alliance with Morocco here. I do want to go to war with them at some point, but, but I don't need to do that right away. You dicks. But yeah, I do want to go after the Mamluks here. I want to fabricate some more claims. And then go to war with the Mamluks. So once this gets to 20, I think I'm going to fabricate two claims and then uh, hit up the Mamluks. Is my truce... Do I still have a truce with them? I do. Oh, I still have plenty of time. Sorry, I, I was misinformed. How close are we to the next military tech? We're about halfway there. Let's... Let's get superior firepower. This also gives us a naval force limit modifier, which I think will be really good. And it will also mean that we get further and further behind these people. Which is going to be critical for beginning our westernization. Three technologies behind. So what I want to do is something. Oh yeah, build some boats. That's what I want to do. I want to build some boats. Okay, build some more... Uh, ground forces as well, and I think I do want to do that, but first I think I want to build some boats. So I think I'm going to build three boats. There's a place over here that builds boats real quick, yeah. And then here and here. Alright, so we're building three boats. And then I think I'm going to build two more cannons. Oh, I can only afford one cannon. It's okay. It's okay. Is okay. Uh, what's our ETA to being able to raid again? 1524, 1521, 1521. Oh, you've, you're unrated. Boom. Let's come on out here and do some, some sweet, sweet raiding. Hell yeah. Give me that 19 G's. Um... So yeah, the big downside is that I can't... I wish I could like be like, don't raid this target or something like that. But that appears not to be a possibility. So that's something to consider. Lose one stability. Lose one inflation. That does not seem like a good trade. Um, what I do want to do though, now that you reminded me, is boost my stability... And I should probably also reduce my inflation, at least one. And you're like, why are you spending all these points? And the answer is because we want to get behind Castile in terms of overall tech. Like that, that is what we're attempting to accomplish. So it's, oh, I clicked on the wrong province. Oh no, it's going to take another four days. But yeah, that is what we're, that is our goal, is to get behind them in tech. So we're, we're, that's what we're doing. Now we do need to start building up a nest egg. You really do need some funds when you do this. And it's also really good to have full, um, full, whatchamacallit, stability. Alright, so we made Austria love us. These guys still love us a lot, but let's, 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 uh, love them more. Yeah, let's love these guys more. I think I do want to get an alliance with these guys. So, Savoy, we're slowly making happy. We're not in hostile relations. Sweet, I will ally with you, Morocco. It just gives me a little bit more protection, which I do think is useful to have. Oh, okay. You guys declared war on Augsburg. You're at war with a bunch of people. Platinate. Where you at, Platinate? 
Is this the Platinate? Where the hell's the Platinate? There it is. Um, you're at war with a bunch of people. Well, this is interesting. Ravensburg is a place I've never even seen in the game before, but that's cool. New places are always cool. Ming, is Ming always this big? Does it just seem bigger than normal? I can't tell, and I really wish I knew what was going on in the uh, yieldy Japanese lands. But we have no vision there yet. And I really want to just swoop down here and c come along this coastline, conquer and everything. That's going to be something I'm going for, I think. It's like going to be my reverse Mutapin Madness. Okay, you. Select mission, protect trade. That will not benefit us. That will not benefit us. Apparently none of this is going to benefit us, but I'm going to put these ships to work and find out if that's actually true. I'm going to have all of these guys join. Aleppo would benefit us majorly. Not really a huge thing, but we're not collecting trade in Aleppo, which is why, uh... Why I don't think this is big. The best place to send this is to the Genoese fleet. So, we'll do that. Alright, let's get some claims fabricated while we're here. Let's fabricate some claims. So, their best province is this one. So, that's this one. Oh, they fabricated a claim on one of my territories. Oh. Why does it go up? <laughs> yeah, why does it go up? I don't I don't know. That's something I don't I've never seen before. How how high are you? You're close to maxed out. You still hate me. You still mostly hate me. You're kind of indifferent towards me. You're okay with me. Poland's okay with me. Hungary is okay with me. Let's uh, keep the Austrians liking us. They're still not ready for an alliance. I'm not really surprised there. Oh, the, uh, the Ottomans want an alliance again. Surprise, surprise. How many diplomatic relations do I currently have? Two or four. Uh, let's definitely get an alliance with the Ottomans. This will also mean we can get a royal marriage, which will be good. If the Ottomans are smart, they won't waste all my goddamn time. Can I get a royal marriage with you, too? Oh, we already had a royal marriage. Yeah, if they're smart, they won't waste all my goddamn time. That is... That is the sentiment. So we're making 5Gs. We're gonna need, uh... Need that to go to war, so... We're gonna need all them Gs. There's only three techs ahead of us. Come on, you dicks. I just got up there. I just got there. And then you're like, we're a bunch of dicks. So yeah, we're going to go after the African holdings. Pretty much exclusively. Once the... Uh, once the uh, the time arises. Once the truce expires. 1522. That's still two years off. And I didn't realize I had two loans that I have to repay. It would be good to build some of this stuff in places that would benefit me, but like all of this? Holy crap. Oh no, I was looking at the wrong thing. Looking at the wrong numbers. My bad. I was looking at the big numbers. I was like, wow, plus 0.35. That's so big. No, it's plus 0 0.10. We've pretty much spent those where they need to be spent. We need a major change in what people want to buy. What do you make? Oh, you make spices. It does mean that upping your productivity is actually a pretty good thing. Good to know. Whew, lightheaded all of a sudden. It's okay. 
So yeah, we're just preparing basically to go to war. We're not in a rush. Don't need to do anything. Oh, that one, they didn't get very much out of that war. That's interesting. Portugal is really the place that we want to be raiding the most if we can. Oh, it looks like Genoa is at war with... Monarchs were often struggling with ways to subdue the nobility. Oh, monarchs were often struggling with ways to subdue the nobility. Uh, the rise of firearms reduced the nobles' roles as warriors, but left them as with, in the eyes of the monarchs, too much idle time. Some monarchs created new palaces with a lavish court ritual. So this could allow me to gain 10 prestige, which would be nice. 20 legitimacy. Yeah, we're going to do it. The prestige and legitimacy is definitely helping. We really could use more prestige, though. Definitely having some problems with this complete and total lack of prestige. Cyprus is a vassal of the Mamluks. I really would like to get Cyprus. What is my military tech, by the way? I am military tech... 8. These guys are military tech 9. That actually could be a problem. I mean, they don't have enough men to realistically make that a problem, and their allies are Warsongali, who are also military tech 9. Interesting. And, uh... Iraq? He's military tech 8. Very interesting indeed. Um, so this guy died. I think we want to make a... More, be more trade efficient. Yep, I have loans. They will be coming due, I understand. So I've increased my trade efficiency, which actually did give us a pretty big boost in income. 5.23. We're basically going to be losing money as soon as we declare this war. That's okay. Is okay. Is okay. Alright. I really want to get this war going. When, when will this war be ready? September. Okay, that is an important date. It is a date that is important. I was going to say that lives in infamy, but it's not a date that's going to live in infamy. It's just a date. No one's going to remember that date. Oh, I'm trying to not piss off the these guys, so I'm going to stop raiding them for a bit. Again, it would be really nice if I could say, like, own, like, like mark targets and be like, don't raid here. That'd be fantastic. I feel like... Our overall relations have gone down. Oh, it's because I allied their rival. You, you're you okay with me, right? Yeah. Because I allied Venice's rival. Didn't... That's the big problem with allying the Ottomans is... Yeah, I got... You know... 53,000 more... Or 63,000 men to join me. But on the flip side, I have to worry about other people that now don't like the Ottomans. <laughs> so it's a it's a mixed bag. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to get this war going on this episode, unfortunately. Which of these is the best? Gar Garbia. Why can't I fabricate a claim on Garbia? Do I already have a claim on Garbia? I do. Alright. Then Fuyum is the next best, so... So is the next one going to cost me 40? 35. Okay, because of a 5 each time. Is it for the same nation or is it global? Wait, what? Who the hell is a nearby merchant republic? Oh, I guess we all get that. And that must be uh, Venice or Genoa that counts as a nearby merchant republic. 1524. I know I've checked these like four or five times. You guys are like, stop checking. You know it's already time to raid them. Which is true. I do. I'm aware. But we're not going to do that right yet. Oh, that's Venetian land. Interesting. I could raid both of these, but I really don't want to piss off the Venetians. So I'm really stuck between a rock and a hard place of what I want to do. 
I don't really want to piss off the Castilians, who are now at tech 10. Four techs ahead of me. I need them to be three more techs ahead of me. They really need to up their admin and diplo tech. If I was going against these guys, they'd already be there. Like, if they could just conquer Mercia here, I'd be ready to go. Um, I don't think I want to do that right now. God, getting this attrition for enemies plus one would be really good. But I don't think I want to do that yet. What I think I want to do is possibly get the next military tech because I am behind and that is going to be a problem. Can you support this army? You totally can. This is good because I want to be ready to be able to come across racing across this border and crush these guys. Besides the fact that this would be truce breaking, who would come in? Nobody would come in. Iraq and Warsongali would both come in against me. Ledger. Military. Armies. We want to look at Iraq and Warsongali. Warsongali has almost no men. Okay. And Iraq has 15,000 men. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, Iraq's allied with the Ottomans as well. That's very interesting. It's too bad that nobody wants to come in on this war. Oh, it's because you both have truces. Very interesting. Once the truces are gone, they might want to come in on the war. Okay, cool. Which is gonna about to happen, by the way. The truces are about to end. Oh, a theologian has died. That's a bummer. But let's get production efficiency. How are we doing thing-wise? I think it might be good to boost our diplo points at some point. Our truce just fucking ended, according to the game. The Ottomans will totally come in on this war. There's no truce breaker. Sweet. Ah, oh, shit. I totally forgot that my forces were uh, not uh, fully committed here. Totally forgot to re-up re my dudes. So now I have to wait for them to be upgraded. Oh, shit. No, don't do that. Yeah, run away from that battle. Hiding. That's hilarious. So we want to make sure that we're the siege leader in, uh, in the Mamluk territory. So we're currently at... We're currently at this many dudes. All right, this is fine. Can we get here fast enough? 2nd of November, 1st of November. Nope, nope, nope. 10th of November. Okay, so we'll get here fast enough to crush this army. Boom. And then you're going to arrive on the 23rd of November. You're going to escape, but that's okay. I'm going to come down and start sieging some shit. So I want you to uh, to hold for a second, detach a siege, and then move on. Then what I would like you to do is send out a thousand dudes. Select this unit, you go there. Se select another thousand dudes. Select this unit, you go here. Oh, I gained stability. Hell yeah! The Ottoman, the main Ottoman army is about to get crushed. I don't know where it's going to, to recoup, but yeah, it's been crushed. And basically now what I'm doing is carpet sieging stuff to, to make it so they can't generally reinforce their systems, their systems, their units. Where are you going? Gaza, okay. That's fine. Go to Gaza.
There's gonna be a fight here. I don't actually know if I have enough men, so I'm gonna send another a thousand men against these cannons. I think the cannons will have a real bad day. That's why I... That's why I did that. We can invest in this tech, which would give us another idea group, which would actually be pretty good, because it gives us a place to sink points while we're waiting to be able to westernize. God, if Castile could just get... Um... To whatever I'm looking for here. You know, upgrade their, their other techs. Or if... You would just conquer them. <laughs> God, that'd be so much better. Alright. Yep, there's gonna be a fight here. Surprise, surprise. So we can't... Abandon... We can't abandon, um... Sweet. These provinces until we finish sieging these. That's fine. So we'll crush this. We did get a river crossing. Oh, we should end this episode as well. So we'll do that here in a second. But, uh, actually we'll do that right now. So, I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. On the next episode, we are going to finish off the Mamluks, take a ton of their territory, probably, um, and have just a generally good time. But with that being said, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.